Morning friends, Drew here on a cloudy morning in Oxford, Pennsylvania, not too far from the high school. A uh, customer called us with a problem with water leaking into these first floor windows right here. Uh, it's coming down in the top side of them and trying to figure out what's going on with that. Uh, we've seen this a couple times before, so we've got the uh, scaffold set up. I'm gonna walk you through what I think we're gonna do. And of course, we'll figure it out once we get to the part. But generally speaking, if you've got windows above, windows below, and they're leaking here, a couple things we're gonna look for is number one is do you have house wrap on the house? Uh, or is it just straight OSB plywood? You know, perhaps it was built before they were acquiring the Tyvek behind the siding. So that's a possibility, something we can look for to find out if that's uh, a possibility. Uh, so we're gonna look for that. The other thing that should happen is there should be flashing strips that come off the bottom corners of those uh, two windows there, the two corners of the windows. So any water that gets behind the J channel, right here at that corner and right here at that corner, if it gets down behind, if there's a piece of flashing that brings that out onto the nailing flange of the course of siding below it, that'll help bring the water to the outside so that the water can escape through the weep holes that you find in the bottom of your siding here. Um, so we're gonna look for that and see if there isn't something else obvious up there causing problems. And of course, how is the window installed? Is it flashed to the house correctly? Is it layered correctly with the house strap in front of the window? in front of the drip cap and all those different pieces. So we'll take that apart and see what's going on and uh, figure out what it's gonna take to put this back together in such a way that it's not gonna leak again in the future. And there's also a good chance if we've got water leaking on this side, uh, while he hasn't had the problem yet, um, it's very likely that however the guys installed the siding on this one, they probably installed the siding on this one the same way here. So we may find some deficiencies that we wanna to recommend to the customer that, yeah, I know you're not having leaks yet, but if you wanna do some preventative maintenance, we probably should do a very similar repair on the other side. So we're gonna start by taking the shutters down. Once we have the shutters off, we'll start peeling the siding back, bring that down to these first story windows, remove these head caps here, um, and look and see what's going on. Figure out what the problem is. Once we get it diagnosed, we can start putting it back together the proper way. All right, so we're making progress getting this thing apart. Uh, we found a couple of deficiencies that we weren't really thrilled with. Over here above Norm's head, you'll see that the Tyvek is actually not getting behind the um, aluminum flashing here and that we've got wood showing uh, up there. So that's, we need to fix that, look at what's going on there. But the primary thing that we're worried about was the customers experiencing leaks, specifically in this corner of the window. Now we can see a whole bunch of water staining on the Tyvek here, which probably emanating coming down from the uh, bottom corner of this J channel, comes down and it was just building up, piling up. But you'll notice that the Tyvek is short of the J channel on the window and actually the window finds itself. And so Norm's working on popping this out. We're gonna show you what this looks like. Had this been done correctly, this house wrap and the Tyvek and, and, and the tar paper, whatever else, we need some sort of a flashing layer over the nailing flange of the window. Because this is back, this water is coming down the, the Tyvek, it's getting behind the siding, probably from the J channel, coming down, we can see all these streak marks here, and it's allowed to go right behind this window, and then on top of the window frame and into the house where the customer's seeing the leaks. We've got the uh, same issue over here, but what looks like has happened is either this was original, and they did a much better job of getting sealant behind the nailing flange when they uh, put the window in, or they had a problem on this side, they had already taken this apart once, fixed this, put it back in with sealant, and for whatever reason, they didn't bother taking this side apart. So that's sort of the easy answer as to why this one is leaking. When you don't get the layers right, stuff leaks. So if this piece of Tyvek had been two inches longer, it would have covered. Um, if they had done something different with the tar paper. So we're gonna look at this, figure out which way direction we wanna go for putting it back together. And we're gonna add some strips up here and hopefully we'll get a chance to show you those and then get this all back together for the customer. So that's why it leaked. Now we're gonna fix it. So getting it a little further apart, the tire paper is only behind the window. Uh, and if we're gonna window tape this up to the OSB and then lap the tie, 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 tie back over it, we're gonna take and knife this and remove that and get it out of the way so that we're going straight to one or the other. So any water I ever got behind the OSB, we'd uh, be close to where we need to be here. So we've got our blue skin window tape in. That's against the nailing flange of the window and up onto the OSB behind here. And then Tyvek back down. Our next step is we're going to throw Tyvek tape across here just to seal this onto the J channel to make sure any water comes down, winds up on the J channel here and around the outside and down. And then we're going to run our, our uh, siding back up to where it needs to be. 
and then we'll show you the flashing pieces that we bring off the upper windows when we get to that point. All right, so next step, we've got the lower half put back together. We've moved our uh, aluminum scaffold up a little bit taller, and now we're gonna work on um, applying some other Tyvek tape where we need that to seal a couple things up. We'll bring the siding up a few more courses, and then we'll bring that flashing down from underneath the bottom of the windows where the J-channel is so that we make sure that we're draining onto the nailing flange of the vinyl siding. We'll show you that in the next clip. So here's the next stage of the problem um, that is not serving them well. The Tyvek was up on top of the face of this window. And the J-channel was over that, which if any water, for whatever reason, was able to get between the J-channel and the window flange and it came down, and the Tyvek's here, where's that water going? It's going behind the Tyvek, which they have a little bit of tar paper here, but that stops right here and then you're looking at bare wood, and then you're down to hitting the tar paper that was down below the window below. So what we need to do is um, get these layers fixed correctly so that any water that winds up on the side of the nailing fin of the window winds up on top of this Tyvek and is pushed out to the outside. So we're correcting that piece next. So here's a better view of what it looks like when the Tyvek's out of the way. And as you can see, any water got down, you can see the water staining right here. So that's kind of a lighter color. That's water that's been getting down behind the Tyvek and running right down the OSB here. And we can see a little bit of uh, discoloration and swelling. That water's been getting down and that's how it's been getting in because the, the layers were not correct at this, at this window here. We're gonna pop this lower nail flange, get our Tyvek up behind there, bring some aluminum flashing down and life is gonna be happy. So this looks a little bit different now. We've got the Tyvek up underneath, behind the window jam, underneath this piece of uh, tar paper here, under here. Under here, we're gonna put this next piece of siding in and then the metal's gonna come down on top of it. So final step with this, uh, Norm's got our piece of aluminum in here tucked up behind the window flange, set out on top of the nail fin of the vinyl siding. So that any water that comes down this tar paper, any water that comes down the J channel, any water that comes down the nailing flange of the window, hits this piece of aluminum, gets pushed to the outside, and then that's gonna come out through these weep holes underneath. And then we're gonna put our last couple pieces of siding up and uh, get everything back together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the ball game. Norm's got a couple shutters he's gonna put back up there for us. And uh, the siding's all back together the way we want it and things are happy looking. So just a couple of little finishing odds and ends to get this done and where it needs to be. And then it's waterproof. So we did find a couple things that were oddball and maybe there's challenges on this side of the house as well. Uh, but at this point, the homeowner's going to let that roll. They've had a couple major storms come through and uh, didn't have any issues. So if we wind up having additional issues, then we can come back and at least we know what the problem is and how to solve it. And uh, so that's the solution here. So if you've got a problem with your house, roofing, siding, windows, doors, decks, anything interior with your electrical, plumbing, drywall, looking to renovate your kitchen, master bathroom, finish your basement, build a custom dream house, an addition, a garage, give our team a call weekdays, 9.30 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon at 484-748-0008. Choose option two for Cope Construction and Renovation and extension two for new projects. Cope Built is your full service construction and renovation company and a Pennsylvania home improvement contractor number 88078. Remember, we're finished with your project. You'll be proud to say it's not just done. It was Cope Built. We'll catch you guys in another video. Bye for now.